QJ Motor SRJ350. Oh, finally. Benelli has finally taken its big leap into the small displacement sport bikes. And it is believed to be the little brother of the SRJ600, aka the Benelli 600 Double Ah. But, hindi pa official na pangalan ng SRJ350 since it's not been officially launched yet. Assumption pa lang yan dahil sa high-spec sport bike package nito. And it is believed that it's going to replace the Benelli 302 lineup. At hindi lang yan. Dahil ang bagong engine ng QJ Motor ay siyang gagamitin din sa bagong small displacement bikes of Harley Davidson. But coming back to the SRJ350, is wala pa tayong final specs dahil hindi pa ito ang kanilang final rendition for its commercial unit. So ang pagbabasihan na lang natin dito is based on the released photos. So in terms of its designs, Napakalayo na yung design elements niya compared to the SRJ600. But as for me, I think this bike looks more aggressive and at the same time very nostalgic. Bakit ka mo? Sa totoo lang nakikita ko dito yung design elements ng limang magkakaibang brands. It's not technically a carbon copy or even the same design language but nakikita ko dito yung headlight ng bagong BMW S1000 RR. Yung side fairing looks ng CBR. 650 single ah which also used in the SRJ600 then yung tail end na kagaya ng sa Yamaha at yung side mirrors and mag wheels ng Kawasaki Ninja 300 and lastly the orange accent from KTM yes i said hindi naman siya carbon copy but only borrowed some of its elements so calm your tits and about its features Ito ay meron ng radial mounted dual disc brakes at the front and single disc brake sali code. So you can expect a superb braking performance out of this. Plus, the added dual channel ABS which is very common na ngayon sa mga Chinese budget quality bikes. Then, it is also paired with a KYB inverted forks and monoshaft. Mated to a banana swing arm and an all LED lights. As for its display, walang pinakitang picture but I would assume that it will have the same full color TFT display from the Benelli SRK350, which you can also connect your smart porn. And lastly, its engine. Ang SRJ350 is not the first QJ motorbike na pinagamitan ng bagong 350 engine. Actually, last year 2020 pa ito unang lumabas sa SEMA Motor Show in China. So as for its engine specs, ang exactong displacement nito is a 353cc with a boring stroke of 70.5 by 45.2 mm. And a compression ratio of 11.9 is to 1. Now I'm not really sure kung naka 8 bulbs pa rin siya. But still, a 4 stroke dual overhead cam EFI inline twin engine that spit out 36.2 HP at 9000 RPM with a whopping 31 Newton meter of peak torque at 7000 RPM. And before you say anything else, my dudes, yes. Mas malakas ang output ng previous 302 engine that max out at 38 horsepower at 11,500 RPM which means it was a high revving engine. Ngayon to answer the question why bucket mas mababa ang max output ng mas pinalaking displacement. Well my dudes, it's mainly because of the much bigger torque aspect ng bagong makina. Sa pagbawas naman ng peak power doesn't mean bumagal ito. Kasi yung power delivery niya ngayon is now well spread throughout each RPM. It doesn't matter which gear you are on. Lagi kang merong power na hindi ka mabibitin. Which is yun naman talaga ang kailangan mo for this trip. Unlike sa high revving engine ng dating makina, mas mataas nga yung peak power niya pero nasa dulo naman. Over 50% of the time, hindi mo naman magagamit yan lalo na sa mga syudad na matraffic. And as I said, naka inline twin setup pa rin ito. So, basically it will still sound like... For the price, 
estimated price in China is around 27,000 Chinese Yuan. And that's roughly 200,000 pesos in the Pelopen money. Plus the huge tax and shipping fees, my guess is somewhere below the price of the Yamaha YZF R3. That is, if they really do want to compete in the market. But dude, if ever meron ng official launch, makakaroon kaya sa atin? Well, as for my own opinion, hindi siya optional whether they should not release this bike in the Philippines. Ang sagot ko dyan is dapat ilabas nila kung gusto nilang mag stand out at mas lalong makilala ang brand nila. Kasi my dudes, kaya maki sport bike din ako kasi dyan mo makikita ang pinaka advanced technological innovation na pwedeng ilagay sa isang motor. And that is also why dyan din magre-reflect ang kapasidad ng isang motorcycle manufacturer. Kaya naman binali Pelopens, just do it! Just do it! Do it! Make your dreams come true! Do it! Yes, you can! And lastly, my dudes, gusto ko lang magpasalamat for the loves and support for this channel. All I can say is, arigato gusaymasa. Thanks very much. And gusto ko lang malaman nyo that I appreciate every likes and comments, lalo na yung may mga bayag dyan na, na hindi nag escape ng ads. Which I'm sure, ang lalaki din ng mga edits na mga yan. And heck, kahit yung mga nagdi-dislike and hate comments dyan. You haters have nothing on me! Thanks dude, I'm sure it was like a major pain in the ass for you. But the way I speak my dude is a disease. Yes, actually hereditary po yan, which I was in born with and goes by the name Tang Tornado Syndrome. Kidding. But advanced 10,000 subs atin my dudes. And no, wala akong pang giveaway. But in return, makakaasa kayo sa mga future motorcycle news and updates. And again my dudes, thanks.